Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the praise. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory, Abba Father. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Nobody can take your life. You see the way I'm smiling, small, small. That is how I'm also angry inside of me when it comes to warfare messages like this. Because <clears throat> the devil is so, is so, is so, 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 somehow. The devil and their agent, they are, they are somehow people. They are somehow agents. You understand? Hallelujah. How can they, how can someone be so dangerous like you want to take the life of somebody? I say again, nothing will be able to take your life. The number of your days, you will fulfill it in prosperity and in good health. Can you say amen to that? The devil is a liar. This is a dangerous thing for them to think about. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> When we talk about taking life, when something that is important to us is tempered with, it means that they want our life. When something that God has blessed you with is tempered with, it means that they want our life. Because the things that we have sometimes are the things that make us to be joyful. Hallelujah. Are the things that make us to find reason to be alive so i say again they cannot take your life how dangerous can this be there are people who want to take other people's children because they want their parents to suffer it means that they are taking the life of their parents there are people who want to take other people's job because they want them to suffer it means that they are taking their lives because that is the source of their livelihood they want to destroy somebody else's ministry because of what? They want the person to suffer. They want to destroy people's marriage because they want them to suffer. I say again, no matter how dangerously they plan, they cannot destroy your life. You will live your life in fulfillment. You will live your life in fulfillment. Hallelujah. You will live a fulfilled life. You will not die before your time. When I hear this word, I'm like, God, how can, God, how can they sit down? That is why the Bible says in the book of Psalms, it said they gang up against the elect, against the Lord and his elect. He said, but the Lord shall put them in derision. He shall put them in confusion. They shall be confused. Why? Because they, they come against the Lord's anointed and the Lord's own. And the Lord himself, they come against the Almighty. Say, so God shall put them in, in confusion. Because we sit in heavenly places. The Bible says, he that sit in the heaven shall laugh. So we laugh at that dangerous plan because we know it shall not stand. The Bible says, no weapon form and fashion against us that shall prosper. The Bible says, say to the wicked, it shall be ill with them. Those that plan to take your life. It shall be ill with them. But to the righteous, the Bible says, shall be well. And it shall be well with you. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. And the mayor sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.